there guys so today i'm going to be talking a little bit about patricia lockwood no one is talking about this um this is a very here and now novel it's very present to today's situation with social media and online presence um i personally loved it when i read it i read it twice because i just needed the second read to absorb all the information that i was being given um, but I love the way that the novel is set out and structured. I personally think she's done a really good job here. I can understand why it was only a finalist for the Booker Prize in 2021, um, just because of the controversy of the novel. But you guys let me know what you think down below. You tell me whether you liked it, whether you thought she was being a little bit dramatic. Let me know below. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, um, Patricia Lockwood is an American poet, uh, writer, um, novelist, sorry, and essay writer. Um, and she was raised in a Catholic church community. So she was raised with some, some very strong beliefs, um, which is why when she grew up a little bit and she started to look on uh, the online forums, look at blog posts, get a little bit more involved with some of the online forums and some of the online opinions, um, she found an infertility blog where she discovered that there were some women on there that were very much traumatized by the uh, presentation of the online forum. The fact that the women on there were discussing miscarriages and abortions and some very uh, fragile topics that were definitely sensitive at the time and she um, had found that there was a baby animation at the top of the screen with the baby dancing like it was something to be celebrated when it was a forum of women absolutely bogged down in their own grief um, and Lockwood found this to be you know it, it opened the crack for her as she said it opened her mind to the thought that social media can be very damaging and this is why she absolutely ran with this novel and this is where the novel began um so let's go into the novel a little bit more so the main protagonist um is nameless we have no name for her we know that she is a female writer celebrated for her witty repartee and good tweets online um and is also invited all over the world for her source of new communication um, but the, the novel itself is split into two parts. Um, it's split into a first part being what it means to be online and what it is um, uh, to be present online, what it means to have a online stamp and an online footprint. Um, and also the unlikeliness of people nowadays not having that. A lot of people that may not have Instagram, a lot of people that are raised in households which don't believe in the online presence. Um, but the fact that we also shame people for that, the fact that we find it weird that people aren't allowed to watch TV or to go on Instagram, to go on TikTok and all these different things, we, we shame people for that and that is ultimately wrong and this is what Lockwood is trying to portray here. She also talks in the second part about the tragedy of family um, and the fact that it's magnified um, that people's lives are precious to us, the fact that sometimes we um, you know, if, if there's a funeral going on, we look to social media to hear about the funeral. Um, if there's a celebrity um, wedding or something that's going on, we look to social media. We look for all these life events through our social media. Um, and sometimes that's, that's a bit invasive. Sometimes we, we, sh we share every aspect of our life and this can be dangerous. This can be um, intrusive. This can be a little bit too much for some of us. Um, but people are judged for it and people are told that this isn't right. So the fact that there are so many celebrities that get scrutinised for not sharing the birth of their child on the day it happens. People that take a week to themselves to enjoy their new baby bubble. And the fact that this isn't always um, followed through with because the fans and the social media um, monsters, I suppose you could call them, um, hammer them with bullying, hammer them with comments about what they should and shouldn't do. Um, and Lockwood doesn't agree with the way that social media is used and the fact that we all wake up every morning, pick up our phones and the first thing we do is scroll through social media. But she also uses this piece as an effort to reverse years of damage done to the creative mind by years of excessive exposure to the internet. Um, and she even said that if she looks up at her phone, the first thing the phone becomes is her brain for the day. Now I found this quote to be very um, impactful. The fact that we all wake up, see something on our phones 
and instantly that's what we're thinking about first thing in the morning and from the minute we pick up that phone in the morning it is there in our hand till the minute we go to bed at night and the fact that our brains are taking on all of this uh, online information we're not really taking on what's happening outside whether it be the weather whether it be neighbors whether it be friends whether it's family we, we all look online for that instead of giving someone a ring and, and asking how their day is we message them on whatsapp or we look on their facebook to see what they've posted to see if they're okay and the fact that this is so strange that we don't speak to people anymore that it's all just a case of looking at their online presence and Lockwood just disagrees with the way that this is going about, the way that our um, generations are changing with each year that comes in. There are children that are being conditioned from a very young age to start on Instagram, even with parents um, guidance and even with parents control, they're still given an Instagram account at the age of seven. And this is so bizarre to us. This is so bizarre to us all. Maybe you guys think that that's okay, but I personally, when I was seven, I was out knocking on my neighbor's door and playing with my friends. And that's what I would like to see from our generations today. But unfortunately, that is not the case. But to look at the narrative a bit more closely, it's a very fluid narrative. She doesn't demand people to disconnect from online portals, as she calls them. She suggests that readers consider what truly matters and to look out the window and understand and comprehend what is going on in other people's lives instead of looking to social media to figure it out. And I think that Lockwood's right here. I think that we, although we use social media in some very beneficial ways, it's obviously a job as well now with being a social media influencer, a TikToker, YouTuber, whatever it may be. Um, it's also used in some very damaging ways and I completely agree with her in this novel. I, I couldn't agree more. I personally am going to go and lock my phone away for a few days, take some days to myself, read a book and I can't wait to do so. And hopefully you guys can give me your opinion on this and when you do, um, please be kind, please be gentle. Let's all just have a solid debate on this book and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!